I don't like when people stare at me. <laughs> okay, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, what time, uh, what time do you want to, uh, okay, what time do you want to leave? Or meet? Uh, I don't know. I guess we can be there around 3, 3.30, I don't know. 3 is, yeah, 3 is good. That's fine. Interestingly enough, I choose to do things that show me in my most naked state. Everything I do is subject to judgment. Are you going to be on time? Yes, I am very punctual, as you must know. Uh, we're meeting at again. I don't know what We're gonna meet at the cafe downtown. You gotta get there, right? Yes, I am. Alright. So I'll see you at 3 o'clock. Alright, later. Can I help you? Are you a lesbian? Am I a lesbian? Yeah. I need to differentiate the difference or something like that. I just cannot get it right. Do it right. You know? This whole dating slash men thing. <laughs> How would you feel if you uh, chatted with a girl you was interested in? Y'all just had to link up, go get something to eat. Yeah. So you get there, you're on time and everything, and you sit there and you're waiting. And you're waiting, and she never calls you, she never texts you. Like, how would you feel about that? I mean, how can you feel, but yeah, that's fucked up. But I would probably been later than her, so. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. Mm. It, no, that's, damn. I just. That's tough. But the thing is, yo, I don't, I don't date like that. I don't go out like that. But the one, one or two times that I do it during the year, I get spit up. <laughs> like, seriously, like, you don't go out. Damn, you attracted some real jerks. That's that's one. Yep, I agree. So I'm kind of feeling like I'm at the last half of my thread in this whole dating game. Well, shit. I mean, don't let two jerks fuck all that up. A lot of times, it's not about just the outside. You really got to get just into that mind, and you kind of know. You know what I mean? Especially with somebody unique like you. <laughs> That's cute. But it's true. You should think about that. <laughs> a lot of girls like always just think that it's hopeless and you know. Well, yeah, I mean, I can understand that because if stuff like this happens, I mean, but, all right, I don't date a lot, right? Right. Because, you know, like everybody else, you, you have your experiences and make you feel a certain way, but when I do, when I go out on a limb, be like, you know what? It just might be different this time. I get set up like it's kind of comical actually when I think about it but, but not really it's comical but at the same time like I feel like I don't know like there's only certain people that could like actually like be with you forever you know what I mean forever is a long long time it is a long it is so a long time we dwell on the people that don't don't you know don't cut it but we should actually be kind of thankful because we're actually getting closer to the one that can, that likes the quirks, that likes all of those things, and I just want to, I'm going to say, not just feel like they got to put up with it, but actually enjoy it, and actually feel like they need it in their life, you know what I mean? So, every time, like, you, you cut somebody, it's like showing you a little bit more of what you really want, so when you find that person, I feel like, it'll be worth it, you know? Love is beautiful.
I mean, that guy today, you know, he was a jerk. But at the same time, you got to just look at the bright spots in life, you know, and what you offer to everybody. You know what I mean? Like, and just know that when a guy gets what you offer, he's going to be a very happy guy. Please believe me. Very unique and cool person. Make sure you remember that. Not just today, but every day. <laughs> That's cute. Um, I have to make a, a mental note of that. Hand closed. It's definitely fun. It's always fun with you. That's what you're about to do. Um, I don't know. What you about to do? A little something to eat, I guess. That's a lie. You don't eat. Yeah, funny, funny. <laughs> I'm just saying you don't, you don't eat. Uh, even tattoo artists, you have to eat sometimes. So, yes. Um. See you later. Yeah, yes. that'll work. Cool. All right, all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> later. I die without my art. I used to look for love and it took me years to understand that my love for acting and for writing, my tumultuous love affairs with words and having the ability to act them out is all I need. They never disappoint. When I can't verbalize, I get inked. If you look closely, the story of my life is right there.